Stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. Stay with us here on EA TV for every kick of the ball. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Al Nasser and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, later in the game he might have seen yellow but not at this early point yeah but I'm with the referee it's a foul but no card All fairly run of the mill in terms of what the keeper had to do. Not a lot to be positive about where Anderson Daliska is concerned. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Could be! Excellent block. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. <laughs> Alex Tennis. Sadio Mane now. Here's Carvajal. Ball with Kepa. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Counter attacking chance. in the center loves to cut in from the wide areas no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper pressure applied can they make something of it a smart stop here Brozovic well what a good save that was Real really should be in front now that could prove to be a big moment in the game well pushing again for a goal looking full of purpose Valverde, can they convert? Save, but still a chance. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Oh, great attacking play. Chance to play it in. And a decent save, full credit. How about the short corner? Targets available, Gross comes in. And the danger is averted. Carvajal. Retaining possession proving difficult. And we will have just one additional minute. Ronaldo! The first half here comes to an end. 
You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, possibilities inside the box. Attending to his defensive chores. Oh, superb skill. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Forcing the mistake. And this is Brozovic. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Can he do it? Well, you might say he was unlucky. Denied by the post. Goal kick. Garcia. 30 minutes left for play. Bellingham. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Cuts it back. And what a magical save it was! Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Delivering it. Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, Real have done everything to take the lead here. They've created some great opportunities. They just can't make that breakthrough. First things first, they need possession of the ball. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Carvajal. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And he's made headway. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, when things are going wrong, it's always the manager that's under fire. Ancelotti needs to make some big calls here. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Federico Valverde. Brahim Diaz now. No luck for Sadio Mane. 
Well, a case of being clean through. Now, will she produce the red card? And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo, denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. Substitution for Real Madrid. Has eyes for goal! Couldn't get it past that human barrier. Safe pair of hands, did his job. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Al Khaybari might be a chance here. And a goal! to settle the issue once and for all. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? Three, and there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And a high-level contribution from Anderson Taliska. We do say that quite a bit, don't we? Stuart, what impressed you most of all? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.